Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Thomas Townsend Brown co-authored a theory of anti-gravity with his mentor Professor Paul Alfred Beifeld. They found a force in an asymmetric capacitor which could lift it up. The capacitor has two plates, separated by air, or some material called dielectric. The two plates are connected to a battery. Since there is air in between the plates, the circuit does not get completed, so current flows for a very short time till the plates get charged. The Biefeld-Brown effect shows that when the two plates of the capacitor are of different shape and size, one of the plates will exert a force on the other, which will counteract gravity. They called this phenomenon electrokinesis, kinetic means motion, and named the field of study as electrogravitics. Efforts have been made to deny the claim that it demonstrates anti-gravity force, which, as you can guess, is called conspiracy theory by Wikipedia. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. John Hutchison is a Canadian self-taught scientist, who has demonstrated anti-gravity force in his home laboratory, vandalized multiple times by Canadian authorities. He refused to sell his technology to the military. In the book The Hunt for Zero Point, Inside the Classified World of Anti-Gravity Technology, the author, Nick Cook, mentions, one evening in 1979, Hutchison was in his laboratory, sitting amid the sparks and high-voltage effects of his equipment, when he was struck on the shoulder by a piece of metal. He threw it back and it hit him again. This was the beginning of the Hutchison effect. He found that, by tweaking the settings on the equipment, he could get any object to levitate, move horizontally, bend, break and even explode. Using only tiny amounts of power, Hutchison could raise any kind of material up to 100 pounds in weight, at distances of up to 80 feet. What do you think? Speaking of anti-gravity, was anti-gravity force used for building the ancient superstructures like the pyramid and the rest of the Tartarian architecture we see around the world? Such stupendous accuracy in placing the massive blocks at such stupendous heights. How did they do it? Apart from superlative stone cutting technology, this ability of placing the stone blocks with such cutting edge precision. How could they have done it? And we find no mention of any cranes or such contraption. Those who were so so good at crafting stones to mimic nature so perfectly in such breathtaking fashion, would clearly have carved their technologies into the stone too. But they have not done so. So, what are we missing? Could anti-gravity force be the answer? Could it be that the devices they used were so simple and elegant that they are still hidden within the architecture in plain sight, but we have not decoded it as yet? What do you think? The Mana found in Afghanistan cave. 
researchers who visited the site allegedly described the finding as a Vimana encased in a time well. According to ancient accounts and texts, they also depict sophisticated offensive mechanisms incorporated into the Vimana. Reports indicate that the Vimana discovered in the cave belonged to one of the greatest religious leaders of ancient man. The great prophet Zoroaster, founder of Zoroastrianism, the official religion of Persia. While many people indicate the story connecting eight soldiers, the cave and an ancient Vimana is beyond bizarre. Many people firmly believe that numerous pieces of advanced technology can be found scattered across the desert in what is today modern-day Iran, Iraq, and Afghanistan. This story may not be true, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was. We know there is ancient tech hidden in places throughout the world. What do you think? We are in the midst of another global attempt made by the power elite to erase recent history. Young children are already undergoing another level of trauma-based mind-controlled public indoctrination of falsified histories, as written by the controller's narrative. Many times, it has been discussed that the angelic humans on Earth are in the midst of a war over energy, which is a war over consciousness, as well as a war over timelines, while most of the human population are asleep to this fact. Through many wars and genocidal campaigns that have taken place over many lifetimes, including hybridization breeding programs to infect our original blood and DNA, the intruding races gradually took away more and more of our natural energy resources, and blank slated our history during the end of major astrological cycles. This is a defining moment in our historical timeline in order to face the truth of what is coming to be revealed about the lost knowledge of human civilization. Many awakening people, starseeds and indigos are awakening to their higher role to be the investigator, truth seeker and curator of digging and finding these historical records, piecing together dates and historical accounts as an archivist, and providing a platform for the foundation of disseminating the release of some of these records into the public. This is a big piece of the global disclosure events, piecing together the hidden human history, even just over the last hundred years. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.